Everyone loves a good boogie. Let's watch that again. OK, that's enough. So when it was announced there was a whopping prize pool of $450,000 for the new show Everybody Dance Now, it seems every dancer in the country has wanted in to showcase their moves. Hosted by the gorgeous Sarah Murdoch and featuring superstars Kelly Rowland and Jason Derulo as Dance Masters, Everybody Dance Now looks set to be the talent show to shake your tail feather to. So get up, move the furniture out the way and let's all do the Charlie. <laughs> Never had a lesson. Please welcome Sarah Murdoch. Um, obviously, wow. obviously, I, uh, obviously. I want to see those moves. Show me those moves. No, no don't. You don't. <laughs> That's just one of the moves. Uh, um, I think do you, you may have auditioned. Actually, I vaguely remember. No, 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 no. I never auditioned. How about you? Do you bring some moves to the table? Oh, uh, I um, can't help myself sometimes. Actually, I'm like a frustrated dancer. I you know, like a lot of people started when I was really young. When I was six, I went to ballet school, and um, all I ever wanted to do was be a ballerina. I was one of those girls that had the ballet pictures on my walls and everything, you know. And then I ended up having to give it up because I got too tall. And so when I get out on the stage, yeah. I know I'm going to be like. <laughs> Carrie, you did ballet as well. You did, you? did ballet. Yeah, look, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your many house. parties and you're always the last one on the dance floor. You rock oh, it. Oh, I... You may be witness to my interpretive dance that I do do <laughs> late at night. Oh, no, and, you know, mouth all the words. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good look, is it? Yeah. Everybody dance now. That's um, British for dance, by the way, Hizzy. Oh, um, oh, I love the way she says it. I might have to say, well, everybody dance now. <laughs> We're sound affected at love all. love it. <laughs> so it's a totally new show. Never yes. been done before. Yes. What's it all about? Um, it is a brand new show. So it hasn't been uh, shown anywhere in the world before. Us Australians are going to be the first to do it. So huge dance show, which is really exciting to have dance back on our screens. But the fact that this is something that no one's ever seen before, it's... Um, very different because we don't have judges. So we have two teams. We have Team Kelly Rowland and Team Jason Derulo. They have 44 acts each. Each night they'll put one act up against another and they go through to the next round, whoever wins that. But the difference is it's the live audience that decides the winner. So they have a little electronic keypad. They that's can either press Kelly or Jason. That's so the one that instantaneous the then. score comes up on the screen, boom, that's one that goes to the next round. It is. It is. <laughs> Audiences can be brutal. Not serious, I'm going to have like a pride of lions. <laughs> Some nights this audience wants me dead. I can tell you. What made you get like? What enticed you to it? Um, I think just well, obviously I have such the a dance. love of dance. Yeah. Like really, I think that um, you know I'm on the board of the Australian Ballet. I've always tried to have involve have dance involved in my life in some way. So, so to sort of be be able to bring dance back to the screens, but be able to kind of just for me, it's the perfect job. My God, every night I get to see such incredible talent. I mean, Kelly and Jason said um, we had this. Kelly Rowland and Kelly, Jason Derulo. Kelly and Jason. Yeah. You're right. um, <laughs> Kelly and Jason said, you know, when we did the team picks, they said, um, you know, we've come out here to do this show because we've heard that Australian dancers, well, we know Australian dancers are some of the best in the world, so we're really excited to see them. And I had that moment. Oh my of, God. I know. I had this awesome. moment of, oh my goodness, please let them be as good as Kelly and Jason want them to be. It's dangerous. Just do that move for me, Dave. <laughs> I've got to ask oh, you. Oh, that one. Uh, traditionally, on, traditionally on dance shows, like, the hip hop dancers are always behind the eight ball because they're less technically experienced than other dancers. But this is a battle format. Yeah. Are the hip hoppers. Like, are they at an advantage That's now because they can throw down properly? Yeah, Here, all the street talk I'm giving this is amazing. Oh, I love the lingo. They're going to throw it down. Word to your mother. They're going to throw it down, Charlie. Um, but yeah, that's exactly it. So I think audiences are very good at spotting talent, which is wonderful. But this arena is really about the most entertaining dance act. So this audience has to pick the most talented and the most entertaining act. So a lot of those tricks will get the audience on their feet. You know, but so it's yeah, really it's those really tricks remind me of your boys. The first time I ever met your kids, they said, "Come to the front lawn and watch us do a dance." And they started break dancing. They did this little <laughs> yeah. show, and they were awesome. And I wondered what you forgot to say. They put a cap out the front and busked. They yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> Do you give them a five dollar note? They were like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody dance our kicks off Sunday night at 7.30 on 10. We can't wait. Could you please put your hands together for Sarah Beth? Thank you. We're going to be right back in a tick. Don't go anywhere.